there was a minister in Gaston, Reverend B.L. Walker, mm -hmm. uh, when my parents first got married. And it was customary in the South that you would have a new married couple that would just rent a bedroom uh, from someone who had a house. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, that was pr pretty customary in the South. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so uh, my parents used to live in his, at his house. Okay. And he was the established minister in the city. And he would often just sit with me and, and mentor me and talk. Uh, he would do a lot of, he would literally, I think, use, when I look back, use me as the guinea pig for writing his sermon mm. on Sundays. Okay, okay. So I had, the, I had a, a pocket of role models that, like that, that uh, uh, instilled in me certain principles. Yeah, it sounds like you had your own uh, in-community set of mentors and coaches, mm -hmm. it sounds like. I did. That's awesome. So if we can just jump ahead just a little bit before we come back, you, I've heard you say uh, in, in another interview how you and uh, their mother uh, raised the two of them to be entrepreneurs, that you were very intentional about that. Now, when I hear you talk about how you got into entrepreneurship, it sounds like it was just something that was uh, a part of who you were from mm -hmm. the environment that was set up. Can you tell me more about how the two of you were intentional, what you did to set them up, to groom them to be entrepreneurs? Sure. You know, Tina's background almost mimic mine totally. Really? She grew up on a dirt road in Galveston. Okay. Uh, in and a half street. Mm -hmm. You know, they had those half streets in, in Galveston. Uh, her parents were poor. Her dad was a longshoreman. Um, he was from New Iberia, Louisiana, uh, but in Galveston, he was, the, you know, they had those longshoremen there. That was a, yeah. a fairly decent job, yeah. but they had six kids, mm. uh, six kids total. Um, Tina's mother was a stay-at-home mom, uh, but she was a seamstress, seamstress. Okay. and okay. she made clothes, and that's how she, she uh, brought in additional income. So they lived in a home almost identical to mine. You know, it wasn't any, anything fancy by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and, you know, she grew up poor, uh, like I did. Uh, but similarly, never knew she was poor. Uh, saw her mother be an entrepreneur. Uh, I'm not sure if her dad did something else. Uh, okay. That I'm not sure. But the question was, did we instill that entrepreneurial spirit? It's absolutely yes, because the first years of our marriage, Tina was a stay-at-home mom. Mm -hmm. And then six years into the marriage, and we had had uh, both daughters, Beyonce and Solange, I went to her and I said, Tina, what is your passion? Mm -hmm. The thing I, I ask my students, and I, I go around the world lecturing about what is your passion? What is the DNA of achievers? Mm -hmm. What are the traits of achievers? And it start with passion. Yeah. And then she said, well, my passion is, is I love doing hair and clothes and beauty and fashion. And I said, well, why don't you go get your cosmetology license? And you will never work for anyone. Mm -hmm. We will start our own business. And that's what we did. Okay.